Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Altman and this is my wife Laura. We're the undefeated World Salsa Champions and we're here today to show you the silver syllabus for the World Salsa Federation. The format for today's teaching tape will be man's part, then we'll show you the lady's part, then we'll do it together. In the bronze syllabus, we only used counts one, two, three, we held four, and then danced on five, six, seven, holding eight. On some steps here in the silver syllabus, we will be using those counts four and eight. Also, as far as foot placement is concerned, there are some steps in the silver syllabus where we won't be showing you the exact foot placement because that was reviewed already in the bronze syllabus. Okay, let's move right ahead and go to step number one, the alternative basic. We're gonna do the first three steps of the forward and back basic movement you learned in bronze, which is one, two, three, and now on count four, we're gonna take our right foot and we're gonna tap next to the left foot, four. And then we're gonna take the last three steps of our forward and back basic, five, six, seven, and we're gonna tap left foot to right foot on count eight. Okay, Laura, let's show everybody how the lady does her part. We commence with the first three steps of our basic forward and back, one, two, three, and we're gonna tap and count four with our left foot next to the right foot. Then I'm gonna finish with the last three steps of the basic forward and back, five, six, seven, and tap with the right foot next to the left foot on count eight. Okay, Laura, let's show everybody how this is done in partners. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the second step we're gonna to do today is called Basilela. Now the first three steps of Basilela is Dile Que No. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Then I'm gonna do a basic with no turn for four, steps five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, and on count eight, I'm gonna tap my left foot to my right foot. And then I'm going to take the first three steps of the cumbia step, which is one, two, three. And then on counts five, six, seven, I'm going to do the last three steps of enchufa. And five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, come on in here, and she's going to show you the Basila La Ladies part. But before we do, we want to show you an element that you'll be seeing quite often in dancing, and that's called a three-step turn. Now a three-step turn is where we close our feet on count two. A three-step turn could be taken to the left or to the right. Usually a three-step turn will be one complete turn. Laura's just gonna demonstrate this going to the right with the right foot, our three-step turn. And one, two, three. Okay, go ahead and show everybody Basilela. Thank you. We're gonna start with our first three steps of a Dile Que No. One, two, three, then step four with your left on count five. Now we're gonna take a quarter turn to the left on count six, step inside with the right foot. And take another half a turn to the left on count seven, step inside with the left and tapping with your right foot on count eight. Now at this point, we're gonna take our next three, three steps on a three step turn that Isaac already explained how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and the last three steps of enchufa for five, six, seven, we're gonna do enchufa. Five, six, seven. That was very nice, Laura. Let's show everybody how this step is done in partners. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, and five, six, seven. All right, let's try it from another angle. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now I do wanna point out, if we can get you over here, Laura, 
Once we've done eight here, as I step back on my left foot, the man's lead for the lady is to turn her to her right. We don't want to swing the arm too wildly here because it'll throw the lady off. We just want to encourage her to turn and allow her to take her three-step turn all on her own. Okay, very good. Okay, the third step we're going to do for you is called Vasilense. But before I show you this, what I'd like to show you is this unique turn that you'll be seeing off and on for the man. This is called a toe heel turn. I'm going to take my right foot and I'm going to cross it behind my left foot. And what I'm going to do is raise slightly the ball of my left foot and the heel of my right foot and I'm going to turn in that position. About halfway around I'm going to reverse it and lift the ball of my right foot and lower the heel of my left foot. So here it goes. Halfway around I switch and then I step. Let me do that for you once again. And it would be counted either one, two, three, or uh, five, six, seven, one of those counts. One, two, three. All right, let's go right into Vasilense. The first eight counts are going to be Basilela. Here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. The next three steps is our Cumbia step. One, two, three. And now we have that special toe heel turn on five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, come on in here and show us the ladies part to that. Okay, ladies, we're gonna do our Basila last step that we already know. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, let's do this step together. I do want to make a notation for everybody in the leading that when the man leads this step, he will overturn the lady on this De La Cano to give her the feeling that she's going to go into something other than De La Cano. What that means is when I go one, two, three, five, six, and then on seven, I bring this arm just slightly forward to turn the lady into position for her turn. Okay, let's dance it together, Vasilense. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Step number four is called siete. Man's part starts with his left foot. He's going to step side with left, close right to left on count two, step to the side on count three with left and tap with the right foot on count four. Count five, you'll step to the right with your right foot. Step six, close left to right. Step seven, step to the side with the right foot and tapping your left foot to your right foot on count eight. Okay, Laura, would you be so kind to show us the ladies part to Siete? Of course. I'm gonna start with my Basila position. And I'm going to take a three-step turn to the right on one, two, three, one, two, three, and tap on count four. And I'm going to take a three-step turn to the left, five, six, seven, tap, count eight. Okay, Laura, let's show everybody how Siete is done together. This particular step starts in the same position as if we were going to do Basilala. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one thing I'd like to uh, say on this particular step is the lady does not try to roll into my arm, but she rolls into her own arm. Therefore, it gives us plenty of room, and I know that the lady's not going to step on me at any particular time. The next step we're going to show you is numero dos. Now, for the counts one, two, three, five, six, seven, we're gonna do the alternating and shufa turns. Here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna do the cumbia step for the next one, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do it again for five, six, 
five, six, seven. One more time for one, two, three. And now we're gonna do our heel toe turn for five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. And we're gonna do a basic forward. One, two, and closing our feet on three. This has no turn. And on five, six, seven, the last half of our basic, five, six, and stepping forward on seven. Okay, Laura, numero dos ladies part. Okay, we're gonna start with our enchufa turn. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna do two bars of the cumbia step. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And we're gonna finish with our dile que no. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, let's do this step together. Now we'll point out some factors on the hand changes and stuff as we go along here. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. You notice I did a hand change here. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, I dropped one of the hands. And now five, six, seven. What I did here is I regained her right hand. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now, without count, we're gonna go through some of those hand changes for you. So I'm gonna go for the first uh, six, uh, six steps. One, two, three, five, six, and on seven, I'm passing left hand to the right hand, seven, and connecting the other hand with the palm down. Now the next time I'm gonna uh, have a hand change is when I come out of the step, I release my left hand, and now as I do my toe heel turn, I'm gonna switch hands here, passing to my left hand, passing to my right hand. Then after I bring her out, I will now pass back to my left hand. So let's do this whole step non-stop to count. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, step number six is called dedo. I'll be doing in shufa, then I'll be doing three steps of the toe heel turn, and then I'll be doing in shufa to end it. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, come on in here and let's see dedo for the lady. Okay, ladies, we're gonna start with a back step on the right on count one. Replace your weight on your left on count two. And we're gonna step forward and slightly across to the left on count three, right shoulder lead. Then we're gonna take a turn and a quarter on the next three steps to the right for five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Then we're gonna do our enchufa two times. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try well, it together. You know, Laura, that looks like a lot of fun. Let's do that together. It is. All right, we start with a right handshake hold for the man. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, let's show that one more time. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. We're on step number seven now, and that's called sombrero. Sombrero is basically for the man, as far as footwork is concerned, and chufa. So I'll do it to count for you, and one, two, three, 
five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, come on in and show us that lady's part because this is a little bit different than uh, the man's part. It seemed awfully easy. Well, ladies, we're going to do our first part of our dedo. One, two, three, right shoulder lead. I'm going to take now a turn and three quarters over the next three steps. Five, six, seven. Boy, this is going to be an easy step, isn't it? Except for one small thing, the hands. We start with a handshake hold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually here going to connect with the left hand. Now I'm just going to show you what the hands do before we do it with the step. I'm going to raise the right arm, turn the lady, then raise the left arm over the lady's head. And you notice my right arm is down. And then I'm going to simultaneously put both hands on the back of our heads down to our shoulders. Okay, let's do the step together now. And. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, step number eight is called setenta. And in setenta, we have three different endings. A, the Cuban hook. B, the male head loop. And C, the female head loop. But before I show you that, let me show you man's part, which is simply two and shufas in a row. So let me go ahead and do that for you. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Laura, would you be so kind to show us the lady's part to Satenta? Of course. Okay, I'm gonna take my first three step of the dedo. One, two, three. Then we're gonna take a full turn the next three steps four, five, six, seven. Now from here we're gonna do our enchufa step. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, this looks like a lot of fun. Seems like it awfully easy here. But we're gonna go ahead and do it with a two-hand hold in open facing position. So here we go to count. One, two, three, and now I'm gonna turn the girl for five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now on that last step on seven, you saw me hook the lady's arm. That would be the Cuban hook, okay? Now we're gonna do the same step, doing the male head loop. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, and now seven, I just bring that right hand over my head. All right, and finally, we're gonna do the female head loop. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, and I bring my right hand right over the lady's head. In this case, a very beautiful head. Okay, step number nine is called the basic wraparound. And for the man, this is simply an overturned and shufa. We're gonna take one complete turn over the, all the steps of the uh, basic wraparound. Here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, we're gonna show you the ladies part, right, Laura? Of course. Okay. We're gonna have a start, start with the first three steps of our de la canoe. One, two, three, then in count five, I'm gonna step forward with my left foot and across. Then I'm gonna step back with my right foot on count six, and back with a left foot on count seven. Okay, Laura, let's show everybody how this is done together. We start with a two-hand hold. Ready? And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. One more time from this side. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Step number 10 is setenta complicado. And the first part of it is just like setenta. And we're gonna go one, two, three, 
five, six, seven. Now, on step count, on step number one, we'll step forward with left. Step number two, side slightly back with the right. On step number three, back with the left. On five, six, seven, we're gonna do our toe heel turn. Five, six, seven. And then we're gonna finish with Enshufla going one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, come on in here and show us Setenta Complicado, and that was sort of complicado for me. Okay, well, it won't be too complicado, you see. Now we're gonna start with the first part of a Setenta. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna step forward with my right and slightly side on count one. Cross forward with your left on count two and step back with your right on count three. Now step back with your left on count five. Replace your weight on your right on count six and together on count seven. And now we're gonna finish with in two for turn. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. That looked very easy when you did that, Laura. Let's go ahead and do this together. We start with setenta, as we had told you in the beginning, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. I'm gonna slip under the raised arm here for the next counts of one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna take that hand and slip it back over the lady's head as I do my, my, four, uh, my five, six, seven turn. Five, six, seven. Now we're gonna do in shufa. Notice that our hands if we can get to the camera here, our hands are where the ladies' palms are up, my palms are down. And one, two, three, both hands above the head, and five, six, seven, looping that arm right over the lady's head. Let's try that one more time to count. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. The next step is step number 11 called the reverse top. Man is gonna take the first two steps of a cucaracha, starting with his left foot. One, two, and then he'll step an eighth of a turn to the left, fo stepping forward with the left foot four count three. He'll step side, Turning to the left, an eighth of a turn on count five. Stepping forward with the left foot, uh, another eighth of a turn on count six. And stepping side, another eighth of a turn to the left on count seven. At this point, the next six steps will be done exactly the same. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, why don't we go ahead and show the ladies part to that. Okay, we're gonna start with the right foot going back on count one. Replace your weight on to your left on count two. And we're gonna take five eighths of a turn to your left on count three, stepping side with the right. Then cross behind to your left on count five, stepping side with the right foot on count six. Continue to turn left and then cross behind your left on count seven. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing for the next six steps, but I'm gonna close my feet in the last step. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try it together, Isaac. Okay, here we go. And, all right, let's position ourselves so we all can be seen, and, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. One more time, let's try that at a different angle. Let's try it at this angle here and see where we end up. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, this brings us to our final step in the silver syllabus called Advanced Setenta. 
To start this out, I'm going to start out with setenta, going one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Then I'm going to step forward on one, side on two, and back on three, doing the last steps of enchufla for five, six, seven. Okay? Now at this point, what I'm going to do is uh, called exibula. Here we go. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. And that completes it. That's a sort of a combination. That's why they call it advanced attenta. Let me bring in Laura here, and she's going to show the ladies' part to advanced attenta. Okay. We're going to start with a setenta step. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now we're going to step back with the right, crossing behind, doing a little what we call ronde action. I cross behind, one, step side on count two, and forward on count three, commencing to turn to the right. Now for five, six, seven, I'm going to take a turn and three quarters. I'm going to go five, six, seven, and now I'm going to do my exibula step. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, Laura, let's see if we can get through this advanced sedenta. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, let's just go through a couple of the arms that we have to do here because it does seem complicado or complicated. One of the things we want to do, let's get into this position here. Let me turn you around. We're going to go one, two, three, five, six, and on seven, I'm going to loop this arm right over my head. It's my right arm. Then I'm going to come back over on this side, bring that hand there. So it ends up that my left hand is underneath my right hand. Now I'm going to turn the girl from this position, keeping the hands just like they are, and then taking my right hand over the lady's head. Okay? Then as she does the last part, which is that exibula, one, two, three, I'm going to uh, raise my left arm, turning her, and now looping my right arm right over my head. The World Salsa Federation and Laura and I would like to thank you for learning the Silver Syllabus with us. We hope to see you soon and happy salsa dancing. Let's dance. Okay.